Welcome to the first episode of GAC TV of the school year. I'm Carl Cronin. And I'm Shelby Wilds. As the first weeks of classes begin to wind down, you now get to look forward to seeing our smiling faces before the campus movie each week. As the 2013 school year starts up, our sesquicentennial celebrations are now winding down. So what's next for Gustavus? Well, our reporter, Kimmy Byer, found out. Now that the sesquicentennial celebrations have concluded, we at GAC TV started to wonder what was next for Gus Davis. The college approved a strategic plan in 2008 and commission Gus Davis 150 was designed to implement that plan. According to their website, the goal of commission Gus Davis 150 is to create a roadmap for building the Gus Davis of the future guided by the college's strategic plan. Commission Gus Davis 150 has 263 recommended actions. Currently, 47 of those actions have been substantially realized. Some of those include building our new academic building, Beck Hall, and improving undergraduate summer research programs. Some of the most exciting plans for students include expanding and renovating Nobel Hall, Anderson Social Science Center, Lund Athletic Center, and the Schaefer Fine Arts Buildings. Throughout the month of October, we'll be interviewing administrators, faculty, and students to find out what is ahead for Gus Davis and to see what we can expect for Gus Davis's next 150. Reporting for GAC TV, I'm Cami Byer. With all the new changes happening around campus, one of these changes includes a new campus safety director, who we hope you haven't had too many run-ins with so far this year. Our news reporter, Ava Getford, has more. Carol Brewer, the new director of campus safety, may only be starting her third week at Gustavus, but brings a lot of experience to our Gustavus sure. community. Um, I'm the new director of campus safety. My background is with Minnesota State University Mankato Security Department. I was the assistant director there for the past 13 years. Prior to that, I was full-time patrol officer, uh, safety education and crime prevention, going all the way back to my undergraduate years as a student dispatcher. My desire is to have our focus towards community engagement and service. And so I've already heard a lot of great things about how our officers do engage with students on a daily basis and have really created some relationships with them. So I'm happy to see that foundation in place. In addition to her vast experience and commitment to community engagement, she is also very aware of the various student needs on campus. I'm hoping to get more student involvement in a lot of our um, procedures. Um, and our processes so I've already asked to um, inquire about even having a student on like our parking appeals board so help making those decisions I'm um, just really being more transparent and working with students and have them involved in um, you know what's happening in our department and, and how we can help students out with that but certainly we want to hear from students and decisions have to be made and I'm, I'm not fearful of making decisions but I want to get as much input as I possibly can and so I think the best decision making can be made with complete and full information and that includes the students thoughts well, I too. I want our, our reputation out there and you know I, I want it to be a positive thing. So Carl, what's your favorite homecoming tradition? None. So while Carl sits here and stays antisocial, our reporter Elena Rooker asks Gusties what their favorite tradition is on this homecoming weekend. Hi, I'm Devin Anderson. And I'm Elena Rooker, and for this week's Question of the Week, we asked people what they were doing for homecoming week. What are you guys doing for homecoming? Um, I'm going to go laser tagging on the field. Laser tagging. I'm actually you... not going to be here for homecoming. And he's not going to be there. Awesome. Yeah. I like your guys' shirts. It's, it's nice. Thank you. What are you doing for homecoming? I'm going to go to the game. <laughs> yeah, you are. Are you going to be here for homecoming? I don't know. You don't know? No. What else would you do? What are you doing for homecoming? Well, you know, just, just um, raving a, a bit or something. Raving? Yeah. See, you were going to do something. Don't even lie to me. What are you doing for homecoming? I'm stuck working. Where are you working? Dining center. That's rough. That actually is rough. She knows. Yeah. She knows. I don't know. What are you doing for homecoming? Well, I'm going to play laser tag and I'm going to go to the dive and probably go to the rave. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. Okay, what are you doing for homecoming? I am partying hard and going to the dive and the rave. There you go. Dive and the rave. 
Never gonna end. Never gonna end. Never ending party. <laughs> awesome. What am I doing for homecoming? Well, I'm wearing tons of black and gold. And uh, okay, so like the totem pole thingy and the game, hello, totally there. What are you doing for homecoming? I'm going to the football game with my mom, who's alumni. Oh, cute. Okay. All right, Gusties, there you have it. Have a safe homecoming, and we'll see you next week. That's all we have for you tonight, Miss Davis. And we hope you join us every Friday. Friday! For GAC TV, I'm Shelby Wilds. And I'm Carl Cronin. Keep, Keep it classy, Miss Davis. Davis. What are you doing? What are you doing for homecoming week? I'm going to go to the game and maybe the glow rave. B! After. Hey, I'm. Oh, is it recording right now? Yeah. This whole time? Yeah. It's embarrassing. I know, I'm so embarrassed. You just friend. You did. Oh, baby, you. Got what I You did, um. <laughs>